Timestamp in an Excel cell is a static value that won't automatically update whenever a workbook is recalculated. Timestamps are important for keeping records of when information is being created, updated or deleted. There are several ways to insert the current date and time in a cell. Here is the keyboard shortcut to quickly enter the current date in Excel. Use control and semicolon keys together. Excel takes a snapshot of the current date and then inserts the date in the cell. Because that cell's value doesn't change, it's considered static. Select the cell into which you want to insert the current date or time. To insert the current date, press Ctrl and semicolon. To insert the current time, select the cell, press Ctrl, Shift and semicolon keys together. To insert the current date and time, press Ctrl, semicolon, then press space and then press Ctrl, Shift, semicolon. To change the date or time format, right click on a cell and select format cells. Then on the format cells dialog box in the number tab under category click on date or time and in the type list select a type and click on OK. Note that this is not dynamic which means that it will not refresh and change the next time you open the workbook. Once inserted it remains as a static value in the cell. If you want to update the current date and time every time a change is done in the workbook you need to use Excel functions. For example, when you have a report and you want to print a copy to reflect the last update time, to insert the current date simply enter equal to today function in the cell where you want it. Since all the dates and times are stored as numbers in Excel, make sure that the cell is formatted to display the result of the today function in the date format. If you want the date and timestamp together in a cell, you can use the now function. All the dates and times are stored as numbers in Excel, so make sure the cell is formatted that shows the date as well as time. For example, open the format cells dialog box and click on date and select the date format which includes time. The result of the today and now functions change only when the worksheet is calculated or when a macro that contains the function is run. Cells that contain these functions are not updated continuously. The date and time that are used are taken from the computer system clock. If you had rather insert only the current time in a cell without a date, use now formula and then apply the time format to cells. This will only change the display format. The actual value stored in a cell will still be a decimal number consisting of an integer representing the date and a fractional part representing the time. Use this formula to just store the time. The int function returns the integer part of the decimal number. Subtract the integer part representing today's date to output only the fractional part that represents the current time. The formula returns a decimal. Apply the time format to the cell to make the value display as time. The display times are the same but the stored values are different. To download example Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.